Welcome to my channel CodeTech and in this video I am going to tell you about the ternary operator to how to implement a ternary operator in angular project. So I have taken a bootstrap table and I hope that you all know that how to iterate that elements array of element array elements in a table and to show and I have taken this a static JSON data in our home.component.ts file and I'm, I have just declared that and I am taking value from that array. So now I have to change that value and I have to make the data because I have mentioned a data on the array name is mentioned already in that table. Okay now now we have to iterate each and of value and I have to show that I'm using interpolation. We have to bind that data OBJ and what's the what we need to show that is the <coughs> product ID okay so we need to write a product ID simply I'm copying and pasting it and this I'm changing to ID now again same I have done for the other other rows in the table and now I am changing the status on which I am going to apply the ternary operator. Means we will see that in the video that how to show the conditional value. So I am taking it status status 1 status 2 I am just, I'm just taking it random value. Status I am copying it. Sorry, and I'm again pasting it status one. Now same I have to do in the in there also. Status one. Status again. and giving the value to saving it now again obj we need to add that status value status and in this row we need to implement that ternary operator so uh, we need to show our own value whatever the conditional value we need to show it according so we can say that on the handle I have taken that header name and inside that 2112 so whenever I'm just I'm going to show you that how to implement a ternary operator like in this row like this if obg dot status equal to equal to one if our condition is one so it going to show us yes let's see that one so it will give us a value yes or if the condition is two or any other like this Okay. So you can see that one, one, two, and in our, I think the value is not getting, I'm not going to get it. So I'm just removing that comma, inverted comma, and according to that. So we can see that we are getting the value yes yes when our condition is 1 and no no when our condition is not equal to 1 or whatever we are getting the two conditions second of condition. So in that way the ternary operator will give a value and operate in the angular. 
so you can see that yes yes and in the ts side in the html side we can implement that because we don't need to put a ngf condition if our if we want to implement the ternary operator we can do it by using the ngf condition also but angular is providing the ternary operator which we can do very simply and we can show it the value yes and no according to the condition one when our condition when our state is one so it will show the value yes and our condition our status is two so it will show the value no you can see that oh. this is this and this is it for in this video and uh, thank you for watching my video if you please if you like it please uh, like my video and do subscribe my channel thank you